Hello, everyone, and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am, of course, your host, Aaron, and today is going to be day three of the special of the 8 Minutes with Aaron non-Funko Pop talkage, unless there's a video that came out before this, if something new happened, you know, in the Funko world. But yeah, blah, 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 blah. let's get just scrolling with 8 Minutes with Aaron. <laughs> Now, I know for the last couple days, we have not talked about Funko Pops, and hey, that's pretty cool. I have read in the comments that you were so excited that we switched it up a little bit. Uh, I know you want to get back and look at some Karamas and talk about some Naruto stuff. I've been getting emails and Instagram messages, so I'm going to go over that kind of stuff. So that's really exciting, and uh, yeah, that's all going to be made up. So if don't hold me to it. None of that's going to be real. It's all going to be fake and false, and I'm just telling you in advance, so don't be surprised if there's some goofy-ass questions that are in there. All right, so this is going to be a cool day today because we're going to go over some Pokemon collectibles that I picked up at Burger King. That's right, Burger King has been coming in handy for all these cool collectibles. Last time we had the Nickelodeon Rugrats watches that were pretty decent. I've told you if I can get a Rocco's Modern Life one, I would. And if anyone does watch this and collects the Rocco's Modern Life NFTs, if you would send me the Rocco Grill and the Ed Big Head, well, I would be ever so grateful and I wouldn't have to spend so much money and cry myself to sleep afterwards. All right, so these are some Pokemon. That's right, Pokemon. So everyone strap on your seatbelt. <laughs> Get the little drool bucket because you're going to drool after you see these bad boys. You can go on uh, eBay. You can probably go not on Amazon, but you can probably buy these from like a third party distributor. These are the Pokemon Limited Edition 23K Gold plated trading cards now I, they weren't really be traded and they are in really cool boxes and they did come with a i believe six of them you had jigglypuff here uh you had a mewtwo i'll hold them up once i get them all out of here you had a charizard charizard you have a pikachu which is in a red box because pikachu was special you had a blue pikachu because pikachu came in two colors and then I have another Pikachu, which is pretty cool. Pika, Pika, Pikachu. And then we have, you know, what is this? Why am I putting him up there? He should go over here. And then we have a, what is this, Poliwhirl? Right, it's Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl, Poliwhirl. Followed up by the last one, which is the Togepi. Cool, right? So here's Togepi, all right? Here's Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl. Cool, cool, cool. Here's where Mewtwo. There is the Jigglypuffler. And he uh, got the two Pikachus. And then we got the Charizard. Now, I know you're looking at these boxes and saying they're not in pristine condition. You're absolutely right. They were kept with all my other collectibles. I do believe my brother has two sets in his crib, and they are in better condition because my brother, of course, keeps all of this stuff really good. Um, we're just going to open this Charizard up and see what's inside. Uh, if it is in a plastic that we can't open it, unfortunately, we're not going to get through, and it looks like that is the case. But this is the Pokeball that it does come in. It looks pretty sick, and inside is actually a golden card. Um, I will show you a picture on the side of what it looks like. These are really, really freaking neat. Uh, we'll open up the other ones because I want to see if the uh, red and blue Pikachu were any different. And the boxes couldn't stay that well shaped because they were round balls. But I, this one does have water damage. The Charizard, I ain't going to front. I ain't going to front. This Charizard definitely got some water damage. Charizard was my one of my favorites, one of the huskier ones. Uh, we'll open this Pikachu. Pikachu, are you open? Oh, no, Pikachu is not open. I will just put him back again. Come on, man. If people want to see an open one in 8 minutes with Aaron, I can just show one in the corner. Um, you too. Let's see if this one. Nope. I don't think I opened any of these. I think I just kept them in the packaging. Yep, I think that's the case, everybody. I am so sorry. We ain't, we can't, we can't open one. We can't. We got to leave it in the plasty. Oh! Is this one out? Whoop. Oh, no. The Pikachu one is not out. But, oh, you know what, guys? I can actually hold it on the side. 
even though that's corny and cheesy as shit, to show you what it looks like. So this is what the Pikachu one looks like. The, the picture that I show you on the corner is going to look a lot better than this. Uh, here is the Poliwhirl. <laughs> look, I've already... I've already committed to this episode, people, so I got to go through with it. Here is the Poliwhirl. <laughs> here's, here's the Togepi. Here's the Togepi. I'll make sure I put the, uh, the, the picture in the corner with the Togepi. Here's the... Here's, <laughs> here's Jigglypuff. <laughs> Jigglypuff. Puff. Jigglypuff. Here's Jigglypuff. Yo, Jigglypuff used to be the shit in the show. Jigglypuff used to get mad and get the marker and like right all over everybody's face. But Jigglypuff was the one putting in the sleeve doing the song. So it's like, come on, Jigglypuff. Wake up. Literally, wake up. Uh, Jigglypuff once again. Jigglypuffin. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. This is, this is just a full voiceover on 8 Minutes from There and Today. Uh, you got Mewtwo. We got Mewtwo looking cool. It was Mewtwo the only one that the car... Now, no, the Jigglepuff's fine. Wait, what? What is happening? Oh, wait. Oh, I was showing you, like, the wrong sides. Here's the two. Was I showing you the one side on the other ones? Now, here's Mewtwo. And then we got Charizard. We, we can't forget Charizard here, right? Uh, Charizard right here. Charizard right here. And it does say you got to catch them all. And according to the back of this box and everything that's on this table... I caught them all. Uh, let's just give these bad boys an oh, 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 down. All right. Uh, let's go with the 23 gold plated trading card. Pokemon. Got to catch them all. Uh, we got the Pikachu. We got the Charizard. We got the uh, Mewtwo. We got the Poliwrath or the Poliwhirl. Sorry, I jumped an evolutionary stage and I did not have the Waterstone present. And we got some more Pikachus. These are all just going to have to get in. Oh, that's right. These are all getting it up. And what did we say they were again? For these from when were these coming out? Wow, these came out in 1995. Actually, I don't know when these came out. I'll have to look on the date because these are giving me various dates at the bottom. It says 1995, 1996, 1998, 1999. Let's go with 1999. So what do we got here? Ba -ba boom, ba boom. 24, 24 years old are these products. And for 24 years of age, I think they stayed in pretty good condition. Give or take minus the box damage on the Charizard, which looks like it was chewed up by a dog. But it was actually probably just some water damage or some heavy shit that was down in the basement. I'm sure I have a bunch of other crap that's down there that we can definitely go over. I'm sure I got a pair of roller skates that we can just talk about the roller skating palace too. What a bunch of great memories I have here. Thank you, Burger King, for being a big, big, big part of my childhood and keeping me fat and unhealthy. Uh, Pokemon, I want to thank you and Ash Ketchum for, you know, 25 years of great memories and Pikachu and Jolteon and everything else. I want to thank my mom and dad for, you know, ha having me and keeping all my shit in the basement, even though it's more of my dad. My mom probably didn't even know this stuff was down there. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I love reminiscing. I love just getting to sit back and chat with you guys. Don't forget to leave down in the comments what you want to see, what you don't want to see. And if you want some of these Pokemon things, well, <laughs> hit me up because you gotta catch them all. See you later. Bye-bye.